This is Els for Els van der Buk Studio for Elizabeth Craft Designs. In this YouTube, I would like to show you how to make these beautiful butterflies using our clear double-sided adhesive and our silk microfine glitter. So first I took a piece of soft finished cardstock and I choose the 85LB, 230 grams, and I took the clear double-sided adhesive and put it on the cardstock. I'm going to move this out of the way. So then I run it through my die cutting machine, could be a big shot, a platinum, a cuddle bug, doesn't matter, any die cutting machine. And as you can see, I put my die on the tape side, so not on the cardstock side, I put my die on the tape side. And that's very important. So what I'm going to do, the solid one will just pop out. You see, so that's the solid one. Now the overlay, I'm going to take... A like everything that's around there away, but I'm going to leave it in the die. Now I'm going to take my solid one and I'm going to adhere that to the back of the overlay because I need it to be a little bit stronger because I don't want those pieces to fall out because I need those for this process. So I'm going to start lining it up and I'm trying to do it as good as possible. So I'm just going to start in the corner there and as I go, I kind of try to line it up nicely. I think that's okay. And just press it down. So now I have two layers. So the solid one is on the back of the overlay. Then I'm going to use my tweezer to poke this out. And now everything, the whole die, comes out. So you see, everything is clear. So what I have here is two layers. So I have a solid and an overlay, so that made it a little bit thicker, and that is what I want. So I'm going to put the dies away. Now I'm going to take my, I want to put this on the side, I'm going to take my glitter tray. So as you can see, I have a Swiffer, always use the Swiffers. I have a Swiffer in my tray, and that's a coffee filter, a brush, the glitter spoon, and these are the colors of glitter that I use. I start with the darkest, and that's a chocolate in this case, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off, I'm going to use my tweezer. And for this technique, our fine pointed tweezer is really, really handy. So I'm going to take this out. You see, and I'm only lifting up the lines, the outlines, you see. So that's what I'm taking off now. And all the other pieces of the release sheet are staying behind. Then I'm going to take my chocolates. I'm going to take my glitter spoon and I just sprinkle a little bit over. I'm not trying to touch the sticky because the grease from your finger will always leave a mark or can leave a mark. So just glitter it. I want to glitter this as well. That should be it. And because the glitter spoon is metal, it's not that static, so that works really well. And as you can see with the coffee filter, it's very easy to put the glitter back into the jar. And now I'm going to polish it, and polishing means I rub that glitter into the tape. And you need to do that in between each color. So you're just going to polish. You see, so now I have my chocolate, so my dark brown outline. And then I can brush it off. And normally I take a trash can and get the rest of the glitter off. In this case, because for the video, I will just use my Swiffer. So I'm going to take my Swiffer and just clean this off. Because there's a only a tiny little bit left. So now I can move on. Also, clean the back of, the, of your work. Oh, sorry. And now I can go on with my next color. So my next color will be my blue. So I'm just going to take out, as you can see, the fine pointed tweezer is very important in this case. So I'm just going to pick out the pieces that I want to do in the, and that's the sky that I'm using, beautiful blue, sky blue at 625. So I can just poke out the pieces, and you can see where I'm going, so I'm just going to do color by color. And you can do all different colors, you can make it as colorful as you want, in any tone on tone as you want. Try to work from dark to light. One very important thing is that always your diamond or your white, if you want to use that, 
that will always be your last color because you don't want to see any speck of any color in your diamond or your white. So I'm just removing the pieces that I want in the sky. I'm almost there. And if you forget to take some pieces, it will show because when you, when you sprinkle your glitter, you will clearly see what you missed if you missed something. I think this is the last one for the sky. So now I'm going to take the sky. Taking my glitter spoon, make sure it's clean. Taking my glitter spoon, just sprinkle some of the sky. See, and then I'm going to brush it off. And because I polished that chocolate color already in there, that um, the sky will not stick to the, you see? And you can see what I did. And you can see the pieces that I didn't pick up yet. So if it's that, just brush it off really well, front and back. Put this back into the jar. And then again, you need to polish. And that's very important because otherwise, if I wouldn't have polished my chocolate, that sky would have stuck to the... Okay. So that's the sky. Polishing. You see how nice it starts to sparkle when you polish because that's really very important and it makes your work really beautiful. Again, I take my Swiffer, clean it off, clean off my coffee filter. Now I'm going to take out the pieces that I want in the antique silver. The pieces here. And for a trash can, if you work with the glitter, what works really well is a paper bag. Because a paper bag is not static. So if you work with glitter and you use a plastic trash can, your glitter will go everywhere in the trash can. If you take a paper bag, it will just fall to the, to the bottom of your paper bag. So that's a very handy tip to use. So when you work with the glitter, take a paper bag. Last two pieces for the antique silver. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. And let's just sprinkle a little bit like that. And again, use my brush to brush it off. Front and back. Put this back into the jar. Almost done. Last color will be the diamonds. So again, polish. And you will see, if you don't see any change, you're not polishing well enough. So you really need to see a change. So you need to see that it starts to sparkle. Again, brush this off. Take my Swiffer. And now the last pieces I need to do, you see, that's for the warm diamonds. So just taking those last little dots off. And again, tweezer. You can see the fine point of tweezer is really, really handy to use in this case. Tiny little dots. Last ones. Okay, have this off. I see it needs the diamond. So for the diamond, I will just take a tiny bit with a spoon. Of course, you only need a little bit. And now polish this. And you can brush it off. So and then you have this beautiful butterfly. And that's what I used for this card. And you can see I used, so I made a circle card. So I used a through the lens cardstock. I used a colored soft finish cardstock. Just a beautiful combination of the colors. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.